I got another PowerPoint freebie for you. Uh, this one's called Graphic Alta. And it's basically social media PowerPoint templates. And I'll put a link to this in the chat box for you. And then let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. This guy. So here, if you click that link, it's going to take you to the, the sales page here. And basically, it's like a lot of the other collections. Uh, 100 premium, they call them stories templates which are basically social media sizes for Facebook and Instagram. And you also get square templates, that one-to-one -one ratio uh, for Facebook or Instagram. And of course, all kinds of stuff. Great design. And that's one of the things I love about templates like this. As a graphic designer, I don't know, I, I got some chops, but Man, it's just a lot of work to start with a blank slide and then come up with this stuff. I hate that. What I like are templates that are professionally designed, look good, are in PowerPoint, which makes them easy to modify, and can really get some interesting work done. So I'll let you go ahead and take a look at all this stuff, the great design and all the stuff you get, but yeah, I got a freebie for you. So here's one of them. Let's take a look at this, and then I'll kind of show you how to modify it. This is one of the stories formats, and in the product, you get all different kinds of, they call them niches, but quite frankly, don't sweat the fact that this says fashion, or music, or restaurants, or whatever. I never really worry about that. Because basically you're going to be swapping out the images and modifying it to make it your own anyway. I'm much more concerned with the actual design. So I pick one that has a design that I like and kind of work from that. Each of those folders has again two different versions. One is called post, which are one by one or square. Okay, very popular right now. We like to have those. And then these called stories, which are more of a, a skyscraper, they call them kind of thing. So this is something that would appear nicely on a mobile device uh, and things like that. So the one we're going to look at is called Instagram 11. And the first time you open it up, there'll be an enable editing button around here somewhere. Click that and we'll be ready to get started. Immediately after doing that, we want to go to File, Save As, browse to a location on our hard disk, and save this with a different name. You don't want to screw up your master copy. Okay. The first thing I'll generally do with something like this is just take a look at it. Let's click the preview star here. If you didn't know this, this little star right here means that this slide has animations and we can click this and play them as opposed to going to animations preview and all that good stuff okay so let's go ahead and preview it very nice it has some nice fonts and things like that here's how, basically how we'll go ahead and modify it I'm gonna open up the selection pane by clicking anything on the slide go to format and choose selection pane. The next thing I generally do is I hide all and start to see what's what. So okay we got some text boxes and as you turn the eyeball on whatever object is on the slide then becomes visible. Turn it on, turn it on so that's all the stuff so far and you see way down at the bottom here this one called rectangle 84 so let's turn that on that's our actual picture here's a tip for all you PowerPoint developers out there in the selection pane you can rename this insert your picture here make it easy on me alright so anyway uh, that's the picture. Click on that and right click. Oops. Click on it and then right click on the picture on the slide and we'll go to format picture. 
And if we click the Fill tab here, what we'll see, Fill tab, Fill, it's a picture. So I want to swap it out with my own. I'll just go to File. Let's browse for a picture. And we'll choose this one and Insert. When you do that, you're probably going to end up, depending upon the size of your picture, mine was a widescreen format, notice that it's, it's kind of it's kind of squished. <laughs> so for odd shapes slides like this, here's kind of the way you fix that. I'm going to, again, the picture selected, go to Format, and we're going to crop, hit the drop down to Fill. Okay, and I'll actually zoom out a little bit here, just a bit. There we go. So the crop lines here show the dimensions of the picture on the slide, and I can at that point kind of adjust it. But more importantly, once I get whatever I want in the slide in frame here, and I click Crop, Notice now it's not all squishy and weird, right? So that little crop trick to fill resizes the image to be proper. In fact, if I undo that, what you'll see is that here's the problem, right? I'm trying to take a picture that's this wide and squish it down into something that's this wide. Well, if you don't crop it properly, uh, it's just going to look wonky. So that's why we do that. All right, uh, then let's go back to the selection pane. Make sure we show all and let's preview it. Two. Nice, I like it. We can do the same thing on the second slide. I'm going to take a shot here and say that rectangle 84 is the slide I want. Yeah, there it is. So turn that guy back on select it and again you might make sure that you're selecting the right thing with a lot of layers and stuff sometimes it's a little tricky okay and I know I'm selected because I see it in the selection pane as selected then right click uh, format picture from fill picture, file, and we'll use Maggie the Wonder Dog. Oh, and this one shows it even better. Maggie the Wonder Dog does not look that squishy and goofy. So, format here, crop drop down to fill. Oh, there she is. So now I can adjust a little bit and crop. Boom. Nice, right? Okay, and then of course you can just click and modify the text, uh, change the colors, font colors, or whatever you want. And then basically, once you're finished with all your modifications, you go to File, Export, Create a Video, set the second spent on each slide to zero, and create video. Okay, and I don't save these as MPEG-4s because there's a known glitch in PowerPoint. I save them as Windows Media Video. Okay, now let's take a look at a couple of other little tricks that we can do here. I'll kick this into slideshow mode and let's see what happens. Nice, I like it. Oh, and then it moves on. Well, one thing that we can do, if you want, is we can kind of adjust how long this stays on screen. And it's really easy to do that in this particular set of templates. So I'm going to go to the Transitions tab. And right over here, you'll notice that it's set to move on pretty much as soon as any animations are finished. Okay, But I'm going to go ahead and change this to like 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And now let's go ahead and go into slideshow mode. Everything happens. The animation's complete. Da, da, da. 
Dee, doo, and then it moves on. So you do have a degree of control as to how long stuff stays on screen, if you know that little trickster thing there, right? Let's talk about what I don't like about a lot of these templates is I don't know why the developers insist upon using the absolute weirdest fonts on this or any other planet. If we click on the text box here, we see that this is Babus New. And this is an excellent font to have. If you don't have it, in the freebie I'm going to give you, I have a link to it, and you can go ahead and download it. Everyone should have the Babus New font on their system. Because, as you notice, it's big, it's bold, it's clean. Everybody loves it. I love it. You'll love it too. But here's kind of the scoop. Let's click on this text box right here and take a look at the font. <laughs> I don't know what this is. And worse yet, a lot of these developers don't provide a font list or a list of what fonts you need to have. So, in, in my mind, if, if they want to use really screwy fonts, they should at least give you links to go find them or buy them or whatever it is. Or you could just use more normal fonts. Please. Now, for the most part, I don't really care, you know, what it is. PowerPoint is going to pick a font. And I don't know how PowerPoint does it, but it substitutes it out but it doesn't really tell you what it subs in. So I either just kind of leave it or go pick my own font, one that I have installed. So that's just something to be aware of. And one of the awesome things about this package that I really do like is that in addition to all of these nice storyboard and square size templates that you can get, they have this collection of things that he calls topography elements. This is like a library of stuff. And I'll go ahead and preview this slide here. And you might not be able to see it really well over the webinar, but there's some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, some really nice animations, some really good design. And again, sadly, if we click down here where something looks a little screwy. Yeah. A screwy font. So there you have that. Uh, but let's take a look at what we can use this stuff for. And there's just bunches of them. And they're all just really good. I love them. Handy dandy stuff. How and why might we use such a thing? You may ask. Well, let's try this. Let's say I really like this animation here and this design. If we go back to our story thing here, you'll see that uh, this is the way this one is. So when I mess around with stuff like this, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this slide. And then let me show you what we can do. This way I have a backup copy in case I hose it all beyond recognition. So on my duplicate copy here, I'm going to highlight this stuff here. And I'm going to press delete. Let's go back to our typography swipe deck, I guess, is a good way to put it. I'm going to highlight this guy. I'm going to right click, copy. Go back here. I'm going to right click, paste. And I'm going to do this. Boom. And maybe we'll probably change this font color. I'll just change it to white for now. But now, watch. All the animation just works, everything fits, and I've got me a brand new version. Boom, boom. That's how sweet and easy that is. So that's a really creative and interesting thing I wish a lot of the guys would do more of, is it's almost like a toolkit, isn't it? So I could take like any of these slides and just customize my little brains out. I like that. Let me get you the link to go ahead and download that. And you can make your own video. Oh, I also, what I did was I took one of the slides here 
and created a freebie for the page of these uh, cool assets too. So when you download this zip file you're going to get this template that you can mess with and you're also going to get this freebie right so you can have a blast with that. Click that link, download, unzip those files and uh, you'll get both of those templates which are very enjoyable. These can be good for like video ads. These are excellent for that. They're short, they're sweet, you have a big call to action or a big benefit. You kick these out, you post them, and you know you put your link for whatever you want to have happen in the description. So they're just quick, eye-catching. Here's Maggie. Boom, boom, boom. So they make great video ads. I think you'll like this though.